So what? What does this mean? Let's see, what is this probability? What is the conditional probability? Probability that y exceeds k plus s given y greater than s. Um, well, in general, um, we call this the memorialist property, okay? Uh, essentially, given the random variable exceeds s, you can in fact start the clock at that time again. So given this, um, the probability that you exceed k plus s is equal to the probability that you just uh, start another, let's say, parallel random variable, the geometric random variable at that point, and that one exceeding k, okay? So the clock is like uh, reset at that point. That means essentially this distribution forgets the past. So this we call the memorialist property. So this is something like, um, let's say you are, um, uh, let's say you have a, a coin. Let's say it, it may not be fair. Let's say the probability of heads is P, let's say, and tails is one minus P. You are throwing this coin and we are waiting for heads, okay? Let's say you, you, you observe tails, 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 tails. You observe five tails. At this point, let's say your friend walks in. He has no idea you had five tails. For, for all matters, for all that matters to him, you are starting just now, or you could have 1,000 tails before him. Okay? There is no difference that makes, that information makes, um, in what will happen in the next row, okay? Heads here will have a probability of P, tails will have a probability of one minus P again, okay? So the distribution of the remainder of this will have the exact same distribution of this. So the information about this past will have no effect on this future, okay? This is why we call this distribution memorialist, okay? So this distribution essentially forgets whatever happened. At this point, your friend walks in, you, you, you say to him, let's say, um, I have observed five tails, or you say, I have observed 1,000 tails, or you, are, you say to him, I'm just starting now. All three scenarios are exactly the same. If you know, of course, to be, uh, this is true, okay? Um, if, if, if you see, if, if you for sure know for the, the heads to be with probability P and the tails to be with probability one minus P, um, uh, we, we, we can say that the probability of observing a heads and tails will have uh, no uh, dependence on the sequence here. Okay, so this is one uh, common misconception here. Um, for instance, some people might think that, for instance, if a family has a boy and let's say they expect a child, some people might believe it's more likely that it will be a girl. That's not true. Well, in a mathematical sense, it's not true. I'm, I'm, I do not know about a medical sense, but from a probabilistic point of view, um, again, uh, if we assume boys and girls are 50-50, uh, the gender of the second baby is independent of the first one. So it's still 50-50. And that is a memorialist uh, situation, okay? Now, again, at this point, I would like to make um, one fine point here regarding this. Let's say you assumed um, this coin, let's say you assume that coin to be fair. Okay, 50-50, heads and tails. And uh, you observe, let's say 10 tails. What would be the probability uh, of the 11th one also being tails? Now here, some would say it's still 50%. That is correct as long as you, this information about the coin is ironclad. You, you're perfectly sure it's a fair coin. Then 
if you're sure about that information, then yes, after you observe 10 tails, the 11th one has still 50% probability to be tails. However, that outcome is also an information by itself. Maybe at that point, you might be uh, skeptical about the fairness of the coin. Okay, so I'm giving you two perspectives about the, the real situation. If you observe such a uh, scenario, it could be the case that something with a very small probability is occurring. That's perfectly fine. But it could also be that your model is wrong. Okay, so if you something like that, you should reconsider your mathematical model because whether it fits the real world is quite important. Okay, as I said, these are mathematical abstractions and their usefulness depend on uh, how accurately they depict the real behavior. 